All right, hello and welcome to another live stream. <laughs> this may be the Sherlock live stream. I don't know if you guys can see him. There he is. He is still on my desk. <laughs> and so I'm not entirely sure what to do. But uh, I will at least say all my hellos to everyone and welcome you to another live stream. <laughs> Oh, okay. He's sitting up. <laughs> We're going to have to be careful. Are you going to move now? Maybe? No. Nope. Just repositioning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, let's see if I can do some art with a cat involved. You're going to say hello to everybody? Yes? I'm still not seeing any. Oh, hello, there we go. Everybody's here. Hi and welcome. Hello, Jeff, Hannah. Oh, there we go. He decided to move. I had a feeling <laughs> by watching the Discovery Channel, right? Oh my gosh. Anyway, I had a feeling as soon as I turned on the cameras and got all my lights on and everything that Sherlock would be like, okay, peace out everyone. And that's exactly what he did. <laughs> welcome, welcome everyone. Let me see. No, that's even brighter. Okay, I need to turn down my art cam. Oh, wrong one. Thank you, Kevin. I really appreciate that. I'm sorry that it's a little bit blown out right now. Let me do a fixy fix on that. Why is it blown out? This is so very strange. Okay, I'm just going to turn this down even more, just for now, and then we'll see. It's probably just because my, uh, my art is so light on it. Michael, thank you. Paul, welcome. I know you have a game you're trying to watch, but thank you so much for stopping in to say hi. Robert Storm, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Hello, Sergio. Keeman, hello, hello. Okay, so Aubrey, Leagon, welcome you guys. I'm gonna move this a little closer now that I can so I can actually see and read. <laughs> My eyes aren't terrible, but technically, yes, I do wear glasses. Randall, um, when will you be open up for commissions? I am so sorry. I don't have an answer for you on that right now. My list is closed completely until I finish all the commissions that are on my wait list right now. I'm working on getting them done though. <laughs> Hanu Soul, hello and welcome. Thank you for joining in on the stream today. It's great to have you all here. Okay, so um, this one <laughs> Hello Tommy, thank you so much for stopping in to say hi. So Tommy is my father-in-law and it's so fun to see family in here. <laughs> yeah, I know, I need to wear my glasses. But then what happens is there's a glare when I'm trying to look at you guys, and, and that's a little odd, I think. Clark, welcome to the stream. So what I'm gonna do first to protect um, the paper is this. Um, the back of a comic book is um, when it gets graded, and I know that this, this piece specifically will be going to CGC, um, I'm going to be, uh, I need to make sure that the back is really safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape this down just in case my board has some gnarly bits. This will protect it. Ernesto, hello. It'll just make me look like Lady Death. <laughs> Don't be looking at you guys. <laughs> I 
she can see us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I, 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 um, I kind of, um, checked myself before I wrecked myself on my comment to you, Paul. <laughs> I was going to be all like, yeah, well, it's still nice to have you join us for a quickie. <laughs> I know you need to leave. <laughs> Chris Burks, hello. David, thank you. Hi. All right. So um, you guys probably remember this one because uh, I started on it a couple streams ago. Um. I'm just trying to situate the situation. I know. This is opposite day. I'm in white. <laughs> um, so this is a blank that I did in 2014. Um, and this one, I, uh, it was a blank that I did um, for a Coffin Comics slash Vet Ticks uh, venture that they were doing. Um, <laughs> right? Um, and so this was auctioned off on eBay. Um, I did check with Brian before redoing it. I was asked by a lady death collector to recreate the blank. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. This is always where the party is at, Atomic Tizzle. Xavier, hello. <laughs> Quickie, Paul's done in two minutes. Game starts, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is kind of a typical thing, isn't it? <laughs> the guy's got to go watch his game, so it's quickie time. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to give Paul shit forever on this one. <laughs> um, Konami, I did not harass Sherlock. Actually, um, I just started the live stream. And when I'm talking a little louder than usual and the lights are on, Sherlock is like, peace out. So I had a feeling if he wasn't going to leave um, on his own accord, <laughs> uh, he would probably leave once I started streaming. And, you know, it's sad. It would be so nice if he just sat here the whole time. But, you know, I also don't want to freak somebody out with their blank being so near a cat uh, with grading and all of that. Tom, hello. Game starts at 8 p.m. Oh, so you're going to give us a good 40 minutes. That's good. <laughs> you're on your way to work. Got to work the game tonight. Nice, Kara. <laughs> Sounds like harassment. Bad Dawn. <laughs> Where did my hair go? Oh, I, um... I'm just, I fold my hair under, I don't know if you guys can see this, I fold my hair under and just clip it up like this, and so it looks like I have shorter hair, but it's because half my hair is <clears throat> in a bun. <laughs> a watched artist never boils. <laughs> Everyone here better be good or all know. Kara, I'm the worst offender so far. I'm accusing Paul of doing quickies. <laughs> yes, it's an undercover bun. <laughs> Sofizo, hello. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Oh, phew. <laughs> um, yeah, I was watching all these, like, uh, and a compilation of like next top model makeovers and a lot of people were being like well the hair is just kind of long and straight and I'm sure we can do something to make it look better and I was like oh no my hair is long and straight do I need to do something <laughs> Paul is always guilty yes <laughs> the girls are ganging up on you Paul My favorite is Lady Death. Your collection is ever growing. That's amazing, Jeff. Long and straight is good, so I've heard. Rob, leave it to you to turn something completely innocent into something so very dirty. <laughs> or is it my mind that is <laughs> it's the dirty one? 
<laughs> Wear a monster hat. <laughs> if I need to like switch things up. Hey, what's new? Oh, I know. Paul, we love you. It's because we love you that we give you shit. It's all me today. <laughs> Dawn's brain is filthy. <laughs> okay. Uh, now is the detailing time. This is going to take a while. You know, I, I have some words for my past self on this. But, you know... <laughs> Paul's guilty pleasure is the cookies. <laughs> Plus, since they're on Twitch, I can't see the comments anyway. <laughs> nice. I love it that all of you have such an amazing sense of humor. You are the bestest. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> all right, this is my, my happy cheat er uh, ruler. Is, is the camera seeming a little jumpy? It's looking a little jumpy to me. Yeah. Like the frame rate just decided to like go down way low. What happened here? Did I click something terrible? <laughs> Juan, hello! Yeah, what is happening with the frame rate, everybody? Are you guys noticing this? It looked a little blurry for a second. Yeah, what is happening? Just a little low resolution. <laughs> I blame Paul. Pixelation, no! Uh, well, I don't, it's lagging. God damn it. I've got three happy bars on my Twitch thing, though, telling me it's all good. Hello, Labris. It's a little bit glitchy. Hmm. Photoshop. Alert box. I don't know what any of these things are, and Dan isn't home. Time to upgrade to an 8K camera. <laughs> no. Yeah, it is a little glitchy, but at the end of the day, I'm generally not moving this fast, so I think we're good. <laughs> I would like to go to three happy bars. <laughs> You know, uh, India India ink is good. I don't really use ink very much, Xavier, um, but what I do use is Sumi ink. It's a Japanese ink. Um, so that's the one that I generally use, um, and I really like it, but I don't do a lot of brush inking. The face camera's working. Yeah, I must have just messed something up with the the uh, the art camera. But because I never move that quickly, I think we should be all right. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're just gonna like play to my vanity, and as long as the face camera is working, I'm fine. She's <laughs> just vain over here. <laughs> Too many white monsters today. I have had none. However, I am on my third cup of coffee. So there's that. You used microns for a long time. I don't use microns. I don't care for them. I, I like them. Okay. I don't care for them because they, they get smooshed by uh, Copic markers. They do not hold their shape when marker is applied. At least for me. Call it a day and chase Sherlock around with your phone. <laughs> you know, um, Sherlock was on my desk literally all day. So, um, 
we were almost about to just like turn on live stream and be like, you guys can watch Sherlock give us his like resting bitch face, which was aggressive today. <laughs> How do you take your coffee? Okay, Julian, I have some very strong coffee rules. I take my coffee in the morning before noon. It is black coffee only, which is disgusting. I fucking hate it. However, I intermittent fast, so I have no calories between the time that I wake up, which is <laughs> anywhere between 5.15 in the morning and 7.30. <laughs> um, usually when everything, is, life is rolling and the kids are in school and I am not on my like COVID break, I, uh, I get up at 5.15 and I fast until noon. Um, and then in the afternoons, I have yummy coffee, which is half milk, half water, instant coffee, and sugar. <laughs> Fox, hello! Uh, let me see, did I miss anyone else? Oh, is Steve here? I didn't see Steve. Oh, there he is. Hello, Steve. Coffee, white, and sweet. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. EJ, you like your... See, some people just love black coffee. Dan does. He drinks that only. Um, I personally just really like dessert-flavored coffee. Like, I want my ice, my coffee to kind of be like a milkshake. <laughs> so, uh, coffee, plain black coffee is very bitter for me, so I personally don't love it. I know it's an acquired taste. I've been working on acquiring said taste for like six years, and it's just, I never enjoy plain black coffee. But that's just me. <laughs> you only fast while you're asleep. <laughs> Okay, uh, her eyes are not properly aligned. That is some yikes situations right there. Look at that. What is happening? That eye is so off. I'm telling you, sometimes Rob doesn't do coffee. Swiss mocha. <laughs> I pretty much, I mean, okay, my favorite coffee ever is Starbucks Frappuccino, Java Chip Frappuccino, double blended extra shot with whipped cream. <laughs> and it's, it's a whole thing. <laughs> you add cinnamon crunch creamer in your coffee. I've never understood the combination of cinnamon and coffee. But maybe it's good. Black coffee with a little chiquette is a shot of whiskey. Ah! White chocolate mocha Starbucks. <laughs> See, Jeff knows what's up. He's saying it's disgusting. Blah. Yeah, look at that. It's just a millimeter off, but boy, a millimeter might as well be a mile. True dead man. Hello, hello. We are fixing the wonky eye. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Um, and now I'm just going to align the top as well. I really love this ruler. It was courtesy of Snow or Ben, either way. But on Twitch, he's known as Snow. And my God, I love this ruler because it's really great for straight on faces because there's all the grid lines, and I can use all these little millimeter lines to, to make sure that the ruler is straight, and then I can align the eyes. It's just, oh my god, it's amazing. Yes, they are, but it's still, um, that, that far off is just a little too off for me. There we go. Yeah, the eye was like going off like this <laughs> yes my extra shot is of espresso <laughs> 
Um, hello, Nocturvia. Love you, Kara. Thank you so much for stopping in. Have a great evening at work. Starbucks Keto Pike Roast, four pumps of sugar-free vanilla, heavy whipped cream, steamed, an extra, oh, I see, an extra shot. That's what you were trying to tell us. <laughs> oh, that's an amazing typo, Chris Burks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> a shot of espresso. <laughs> oh, that was so glorious. <laughs> oh, Paul, you can't decide. <laughs> <laughs> Clark is savage. <laughs> Paul, that warms my heart. Thank you for missing me on the Kickstarter. So much hearts to you. Unfortunate typo. It was a glorious typo. <laughs> You guys are all the sweetest. It means so much to me to be missed. Hearts to you. I think it's the first Lady Death Kickstarter I've missed in years. I feel kind of sad and left out about that. It is not against Brian and Coffin Comics. It was, I couldn't make it. So um, please don't anybody think that it was any issue besides timing. <laughs> <laughs> and I have two covers in the, the pipelines with Coffin Comics and another one that I will start working on in October. So lots is happening. I just didn't make it on this particular one. If there's a blank, there will be a Dawn cover down the road. <laughs> Paul saying the Sun Heavy Metal homage looks cool. Yeah, it really does. The Rock of Fort one is awesome. But there's some extra book thing that's coming with physical rewards that will have a Dawn PC in it. Oh yeah, it's like the mini comic book, right? It's like teeny weeny. And, and my name is listed twice as the artist. It's Coffin acknowledging my dual personalities and my multiple <laughs> personalities. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool, Chris Burks. I <laughs> like a finger or a toe. <laughs> yes. He's just saying that because he's leaving soon. <laughs> Two pieces of Dawn, yes. I did not, Jay Allen. I was planning to do uh, a bit more work on her today. However, um, my husband Dan took a day off work and we worked on planning the Kickstarter, the tiers, the add-ons, the stretch goals. So that is what happened today. And it, honestly, that was pivotal to the next few months of work for me. So I will finish the Wonder Woman up in the next couple days along with this one. I kind of want to finish both of these by the weekend. <laughs> of course you did, Jeff. <laughs> that is so awesome, Clark. Tannis, hello, love. All right.
right, Rob. Have fun watching the game. Yes, I so did. I was going to actually post it on Facebook and then I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> that sounds wrong. <laughs> Then more puppies. All right, Tannis. Yeah, you know what? I think I am going to get my glasses if they're here. They are. All right, there's going to be glare when I look up at you guys, and I'm sorry about that, but this is small stuff, and I need to see. So it's glasses time for Dawn. TV, hello. been here but <laughs> ultimate form dawn <laughs> it would have been funny yes you would have gotten the joke and that's why I figured I'd save it for all of you on on twitch and Facebook who you know are used to dawn talk otherwise <laughs> some unsuspecting human may show up and see that comment that's gonna be there forever <laughs> and be like holy shit this girl such a sweetheart. It's great to have you here, TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. Uh, yeah, Jay Allen, I haven't CGC'd my own sketch covers because I, I just draw them for other people. But, um, yeah, I do have a form that I can fill out that um, when I sign that, it's like a CGC form certifying that I'm the artist and all of that stuff. So, yes, technically I think I can. You moved into the kitchen. Welcome back, Tom. Mm. 
Okay, so here is a skull. I need to draw that. This is going to be a pain in the ass to draw. Steever, hello, hello, and welcome to the stream today. having a good day so far. Twitching in the kitchen, yay! Hello, Eric Digman. Drumsticks for dinner, yummy tom. Great, Keeman. Thank you so much. Stanley, hello. Oh my god, it's 43 centigrade. Philip, I'm so sorry for you. Oh my god. degrees in Phoenix. Oh, geez, that is so hot.
You're in Houston, Snow? I'm so confused. You're somewhere else every time you're on stream. <laughs> All right, I think that I need to move this elbow further over. Oh, I see. Well, that's smart, Snow. They're having a full AC replacement going in today. Oh boy, so they are probably dying in this heat right now. Snow is carrying Don's stash right now. Yay, Snow, thank you. I'm so excited. I think I'm the most excited about the, the pencil sharpener. It comes in a box. Four pens and 135 pencil cases. I know I have a, a little bit of a pencil case um, fetish. <laughs> I really do. It's a problem. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Your parents had that happen and it got to 92 degrees in their house. Oh boy, that is so hot. You have to admit the Sherlock pencil case is pretty cu cute. Yay! All right, I'm going to start inking a few things now because some of these things I, I know that they are going to stay that way. They had to rough it and stay in the casino of the hotel while their AC was replaced. <laughs> Um, when you draw Lady Death, does Brian Polito give you any rules to follow? Like, I never see her glowy star skull powers like Hughes used to draw anymore. Oh, I know they're killing it, Jeff. Oh, so badass. Um, okay. Yes, Brian does give us, uh... Art guidelines, art notes. Uh, they they also have like well, the first time I did Lady Death, they sent me like an actual PDF with all the information um, and how you're supposed to draw her, her general height and weight, and all of that stuff. Um, <clears throat> and then for her outfits, we're allowed to kind of add in details um, as long as we keep it in that general format of garters um thigh highs and you know bikini basically i used to use blue lead sofizo i don't anymore <laughs> ink those eyes before you overthink again <laughs> okay tom <laughs> kadiro hello How tall is Lady Death? You know what? She's very tall. I need to look. I think she's in like over six feet. If I still have that template format, it's, it's old. So it would be in like my older folders. Do you call 
one shot. Yeah, I have like the Lady Death style guide from 2010. Yeah, six feet. Yeah, you'd have to ask Brian. I That's something that's sent to artists. I was sent it many years ago, and I, I don't really know if the, the style PDF is something that, that is public or if they've changed things since then, so yeah. She's only taller than you by an inch. Yeah, you're pretty tall, Paul. Yeah, I think that it is, Tom. Th that, that's before heels, yes. <laughs> I, I would imagine. don't know if the glasses are helping me or not. They make me look smarter. <laughs> that does help, Jeff. <laughs> I need all the help I can get, man. <laughs> Jeff, thank you, Snow. However, a small pencil case problem, you should get that checked out. I know, right? <laughs> Hello, James. No, it's my pencil case problem that is small. <laughs> Marcus, welcome back to the streams. It's great to see you. All right, I'm just going to switch really quickly to 0 0.05.
I want to make her eyes a little bit smaller and I'm very okay with just her having even thicker lashes and eyeliner and it works for Lady Death in my opinion. <laughs> oh, he didn't, mystery. Uh, Snow gets me like fancy things that I can't get here, but I still have to go and buy all of my paints and all of that. So there's just more money I need to spend. <laughs> but I am so excited about the stuff that Snow is sending or bringing. Depends on what Snow decides to do. <laughs> uh, thank you, Shirley. <laughs> Um, yes, I'm technically supposed to be wearing glasses or, you know, I will see better if I wear them. I just never do. And now it's kind of wonking out my eyes to actually wear glasses. I think it's been like a month or two since I've put them on. <laughs> I'm just used to not really seeing perfectly clearly. All right, so now I'm gonna start putting in some of these lines and I'm just not gonna bother, um, I'm not gonna bother really detailing out my pencils unless it's something that I really need to figure out. So some of this stuff I can just wing it. There's going to be background on this one, Jay Allen, and then also I'm going to, um, like the inside of her cape, the outside of her cape is black, but the inside is red. So pretty much all here is going to be red. And then her, her outfit has uh, red stuff as well. Oh yeah, my eyes are really not that bad, Shirley. It just, um, mostly it's for things like driving, um, seeing distance stuff. And even then my eyes are barely bad. <laughs> like they're not bad at all. I can make it just fine without glasses. I'm like minus one or something. <laughs> no, I, my eyes are not that bad. <laughs> I became afraid of screwing something up because it's not like I have a replacement for this blank I don't think if I like royally screw up and I'm not sure I like her face shape Mace hello welcome to the stream today it's been a while I feel since you've managed to make it how are you doing yeah, it's the high ponytail and the glasses, I guess. That's awesome, Mace. I'm so glad to hear you're doing well. Yeah, I, uh, I've elongated her face just a little bit. Um, she was getting a little bit too uh, 
young looking and that's not really lady death appropriate i guess so um that's something i'm trying to work on is to not make lady death looking too young um and that that sometimes you know um it's hard to to get the face shape correct or certain things that that can make her look um younger and especially it's because my style is really to draw bigger eyes than is natural and that instantly makes someone look younger because of the you know baby eyes or big eyes kind of thing and so it gives lady death more of a cute look so i have to compensate in other areas matthew hello I think I did, Mace. Did I not comment or something? Oh my God, that's terrible. I'm so glad that you uh, that you got one of the books as well. That is so cool. You. Yay! It's my angelic white top. <laughs> I wish, Juan. Uh, Mace, yes, of course you can ask. This cover is one that I was supposed to do as a commission for New York Comic Con. So the, the person is on my email list, signed up for a New York Comic Con, just like a fair few other people who got their commissions, and he did not. Um, so I started sketching this at New York Comic Con 2019, and we've been in communication back and forth as far as figuring out you know, usually I hand over commissions to this particular collector. Um, so since all the shutdown and stuff, we've gone back and forth a lot as to when I would get this done. So I am aware that he's had to wait since New York. <laughs> there are reasons, um, specifically worldwide shutdown reasons. Um, but anyway, I'm going to try to get it done now. Um, I may hand it over at Fiendfest, Swornfest. Uh, or mail it. We're going to see. Either way, um, this one is a free book from New York Comic Con. Thank you, guys. I'm so glad you like the white. Is it that you actually really like white, or it's just it's so weird to see me in white? <laughs> I know, not in person this year. Oh, that's so awesome, Matthew. We're drawing together, yay. <laughs> I know, I wish. <laughs> nice. I know, me too, Mace. Uh, how many sketches can you do uh, at conventions? <laughs> it's not a good answer. I stop and talk with people and do what I'm doing now at conventions even more so. 
and I'm signing and all of that so I get about one commission done. You made your first pledge and backing to Brian. Oh, congratulations, Mace. Last night. Well done, Mace. That's so cool. So Lady Death has the big boobies. So those need to have a prominent spot on the cover. Are you looking for dim sum for Swornfest? I don't know, Philip, am I? <laughs> oh, yay, thank you, Juan. You're drawing along as well, Keeman. That's wonderful. Oh, thank you, True Deadman. <laughs> Tom, you're the best. It's going to be so fun. I really hope it still goes through and we can all meet up. Can you imagine how fun that would be? I am telling you, like, I miss conventions. I miss just the idea of ba being able to know that like, oh, I'm gonna see you guys again sometime, no big, you know? And now it's just like, oh, I'm s like, when? And there's so much uncertainty. <laughs> Shannon wore a similar top to meet Tom. <laughs> How far south do you go for cons? Um, I, I will, mostly I've, I've just traveled all over the U.S. Um, so I've been, I've been to Arizona for conventions. I, uh, haven't been to any New Mexico shows. Yeah, you miss them too, Shirley. Sorry, Sergio. I, I've he heard a few other people say that the volume is low. It's just, I am like, is that lower or higher? Which way is higher? Testing, testing, testing. Testing, I can't tell. Is it like minus eight dB more or less? <laughs> I can't tell. That went lower. Okay, so minus 15 is higher. Testing, is that better? Is my mic just like being terrible now? Okay, so it went more low. 
All right, testing, testing. Is that better? It's good now, okay. Yes, I know minus is lower. <laughs> Okay, Joe, thank you. Thanks, everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Better. All right. True, I did ask, Jeff. It's what I get, huh? to the stream. Oh, me with my neck? My neck, my neck is just fine. Um, it turns out I just had a uh, pinched nerve from sleeping. I was so worried it had to do with the art and I was drawing and I had to stop drawing, but no, it's just I slept wrong and it pinched a nerve. Thank you, Sergio. Yeah, me too. Thank you, Mace. Hey, Christian. Welcome to the stream today. Your brain is not functioning at full capacity. <laughs> It did a whole reload of all everyone's comments. <laughs> this one needs to go over a little bit more. Like that.
That's a good question, Tom. Who all is planning to come to Swornfest? Juan is coming. Mace is planning to be there. Oh, hello, Phoenix for Hearts. Thank you so much for getting something off of my site. That is awesome. And they're sold out. That is so cool. Oh, and someone just did an order. I, if the person is here, I definitely want to give them a shout out and a thank you. So hold, please. It is Jonathan Kyle. Thank you so much for your order. I appreciate it a ton. If you're on the stream, I just want you to know that I am so grateful and thank you so much. Brandy's also going to Swornfest? Oh my god! Oh no, Brandy's like, what is Swornfest? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Depending on Japan, I might be there though. That's awesome, Snow! Jeff will be there pending restrictions by February. Uh, can't do 14 day quarantine. Yeah, neither can I from the kids. So, you know, we're just gonna have to see as far as international travel. <laughs> Brandy doesn't know what Swornfest is. <laughs> it's a great way to put it. Oh, thank you, Mace. It was great to see you. Have a good evening, and thank you for stopping in. When is my epic road trip? Ah, oh, you remembered, Steve. Um, September 6th is move-in day. So September 5th is when we're going to leave from here. Uh, so yeah, September 5th. I think it's on, it's on a weekend. Yeah, so in three weeks. Oh my God, it's like, Basically, yes, three full weeks that my son is still living with us, and then he is gone. So I've been working a lot on um, preparing for his university, getting like together his clothes that he needs, going through like the actual list of what you're supposed to bring to university and figure all of that out. And it's, it's, um, it makes me sad, but I'm also very excited. It's a way to keep mom distracted. Send her shopping. <laughs> of course, Stanley. Have a good one, and thank you so much for stopping in for a while. We're going to, um, no, uh, we are taking our son, if all goes according to plan, we're going to road trip it 
to drop our son off in university. He is going to be at UVic in Victoria, BC. So we're gonna drive from here to there and so that he can bring more stuff and we can set him up. Oh, thank you, Konami. That is so nice of you. <laughs> uh, he's lucky on my 18th birthday my parents gifted me luggage as a subtle hint oh my god <laughs> um all right wait a second uh who said how long is the drive again it's a, it's about 10 hours for us to get from here to surrey uh, so we're going to stay like in Vancouver area. So we're just going to drive from Calgary to Vancouver on the first day. And that's like a 10 hour drive, but that's with no pit stops or anything, and which we most certainly will take. Um, and then uh, we need to take the ferry over to Victoria Island uh, in the morning. And that's like an hour and a half ferry ride. So you get in the car and you just take that. Um, so then it'll be a bit during the following day and we don't know his move in time yet So we're still waiting on when exactly we need to get up in the morning the middle of the night I'm I'm working on it Devin. I, I I'm I'm teaching things like laundry and how to get your duvet cover on your bed um, Yeah, but I'm a real helicopter kind of mom <laughs> <laughs> then swim to Seattle for fun. Hello, Star Wars fan. You got a typewriter for your 18th. Those were still a thing once. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet, Devin. Devin, why are you on uh, Facebook and not Twitch? Is Twitch not working for you? Oh, thank you, Star Wars fan. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you, Mr. E. So 
So when would be the best way? Oh, I see. Oh, thank you, Star Wars fan. I wish you so much success and happiness, too. Yeah, I think we're allowed to travel. It's just the thing is, is you have to quarantine when you get home. And for me, that's a bit of a problem because Dan would also have to quarantine uh, from his work and, you know, the kids and all of that. Possibly a go for me. You'll get Dawn to draw. Oh, yeah, it'll be a whole thing. Uh, Sergio, I do a lot of Lady Death covers. Yes. Hello, Grifter. Have a good night, Grifter. Oh, thank you, James. That is so kind of you. Johnny, I'm so sorry that I missed a bunch of comments here. Um, see you later, Matthew. Thank you, Sergio. Borders are closed until September, only essential travel. Oh, you're British. Seriously, Juan? That is terrible. I'm also hearing the like 
BC will damage Alberta license plates. <laughs> Who knows if all of that is just, you know, media hype and, you know, exaggeration, but I, I would be very disappointed in my fellow, fellow countrymen if they're like trashing people's cars. You have, they have no way of knowing why the person is in the country. And if they're in the country, there's, there's definitely a good reason. And to trash somebody's car is just shitty. <laughs> oh, thank you, Steve. Yeah, they're also damaging cars from other provinces. It's lame. I'm worried about our car, but we need to drive our son to university, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if someone in the U.S. Yeah, exactly. Oh, thank you, Sergio. I am somewhat worried. Yeah, a guy had a lot of people have had their cars keyed when they're in BC. So I'm I'm a little nervous about it, but you know, I'm going to trust in our <laughs> countrymen and try to think that most people are decent. <laughs> It's pretty lame, I've got to admit. Oh, thank you, Star Wars. Take a rental. Yeah, true Deadman, they are. Sorry, Shirley, that sucks. Maine is damaging cars if they're from New York. What is happening? I mean, that is so lame. And I'm talking about, you know, Canadians doing it as well. It's just, you know, why? They have no way, maybe someone's there for a funeral. That is actually like a good reason. And then you're gonna key their car like an asshole? I mean, seriously, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll keep you guys posted if my car gets keyed <laughs> or trashed. I will be so upset. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stephanie. That's an interesting conspiracy theory. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry Adobe artists. What we you know, we're just talking about driving into different provinces and your car is getting keyed. <laughs>
None of us. We've just read it in the news and we're all getting pre... Well, I am getting preemptively pissy about it. <laughs> yes, Sergio. I work on a comic book series uh, that I co-create with a friend of mine. Um... And I've done interiors for Xenoscope, for DC Comics, uh, and then many for Rothic Comics. <laughs> I feel like everything is super blown out today. I don't know what is going on. There we go. I'm just turning things down a little bit. Jeez. Yeah, I know. Lame. You're going to feel like Mad Max when you drive to Arizona next year. <laughs> Speaking of you and driving to Arizona, Juan, you got me so worried when, uh, where was it? It was the, um, the Tucson convention. We all thought that you were going to be driving in. So what? It was Tom and Philip and Scott No, right? And we were all thinking that Juan was going to come for the day and he didn't. And I started getting seriously worried because you weren't a answering anybody's texts. So like way to give me a heart attack, Juan. <laughs> I'm still a smidge bitter at you for that. <laughs> I always go to like, my brain kicks into mommy mode and goes instantly to worst case scenario. And so, you know, if someone is driving and they're not answering and they haven't shown up for hours and they've gone missing, I'm just like insta panic. So I'm still a little like, I will never forget the like, trauma that I was feeling at Juan not showing up. You sent me a message on Instagram. Well, I didn't see that, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Fair enough. All is forgiven. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. I'm glad you like the glasses. Juan launches the family trucks. <laughs> I don't use magnification for detail, Robert, though. I mean, sometimes when I'm working digitally, I zoom in. Pants on head, wandering in the desert. See, yeah, that's where my mind went. It's like, oh my God, Juan is, is like hurt somewhere. Oh shit. That's your profession. Right. Oh my God. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> the true professional's professional opinion. I know you got a mom rant, Juan. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Jeff. I know. Okay. Thank you, Star Wars fan. I really appreciate it. 
sorry, Jeff. I did not realize that would make you worry. I mean, if I drop water on my art, that's my own problem and my own fault. You sent me that message 93 weeks ago. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, Juan? What the hell? What, so what, um, I'm gonna look, I need to find this. 93 weeks ago. I have a mes message from Juan. Have I seen it yet? Uh, let me see. I'm looking. What? I only have something from three weeks ago. All? Do I need to see all? Yikes. I am really bad at checking my messages. The name of the print you did that had the scary pumpkins, when is that coming out? Uh, why would I kill you for that, Shirley? Um, are you talking about the Lady Death Halloween one that has the, like, the, the pumpkins that are like jack-o'-lanterns and they've got the creepy smiles? I think that's the only thing I've done with pumpkins in, like, the last seven years. Well, Juan, you know what? It's the thought that counts. I will no longer give you shit for something that you did and actually messaged me about 93 weeks ago and I haven't even responded to it yet. So I think after my big long mom rant at you, I'm the giant fail at the end of this long story. <laughs> oh, you remember? Cause she gave you, I gave you a mom rant the first stream after Tucson con. <laughs> so oops. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Quan. I'm a fail. It's just because I cared and I was so worried. <laughs> yeah, better late than never. So I've just completely outed myself for being the biggest failure when it comes to messages on Instagram. 100% I take the blame. I am so bad. To respond after the stream, just got your message. Yeah, if I can locate it. <laughs> 93 weeks ago? Are you kidding? <laughs> I can't find something from yesterday. <laughs> Shit. Poor Juan. He's gotten a few too many mom rents. End on Facebook. Also, yes. <laughs> This is the place to communicate with me. You're not getting annoying to a Star Wars fan. All is well. <laughs> also, it's sending supply lists. Yes, I need reminders. But you see, this is the thing with me. I need reminders, but I also hate being nagged. And if I feel in my heart that I've been reminded a few too many times, then stubbornness kicks in and I feel nagged and then I ignore. <laughs> so there is literally no way to win with the dawn. Yeah, screenshot it and post it to the group. Oh, that's a good idea. Settings by this okay. Uh, I should know, and I forgot. <laughs> ah, good times. So everyone's like 
Dan is such a good man. Poor Dan. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I don't have that many private chats on Twitch. I think everybody knows not to bother. Except with oatmeal. <laughs> I'll email it to you better. <laughs> I'm glad Katie's laughing. I'm so sorry, you guys. And it's like impossible when it comes to me and messages. I really am trying. Believe it or not. Or let's put it this way. I intend to try. This is the catch 22 though, because like I want to, you know, make posts and then respond to your comments and then send out emails and respond to emails and keep up with communication. And if I do all of that, I won't draw. So it's sort of like, I've got to try to, to manage it all. Also, I never see messages. <laughs> Okay, so what happened, Shirley? Are you, was I supposed to message you, Shirley? You need to go to the videos and find it. Sherlock does get mom rants, but more of the like me talking to him in a weird voice. I baby talk at Sherlock now because my babies are all grown up. Thank you, Sergio. <laughs> After hearing how long Juan's message has been waiting to be read, I'm scared to send one myself. I apologize. The best thing to do, if you have a question for me, ask me on when I'm live. That is the time that I am literally the most accessible. Otherwise, things that, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a hit or miss if I'm going to manage to answer any other message related things. Uh, if it's a work related or a, uh, something to do with my website or anything like that, you can, my email address is the contact on my website, which is right underneath me here. Um, so obviously I do get the emails and then it's just a matter of trying to answer and you know, I, I do my best. Oh, I see. You're good with comments, but messages is a lost cause. Yeah, sorry. I think the question when the recent lady death, right. Okay. Um, I don't know when it's going to be released as a print. I wait until quite a while after, um, Coffin Comics has it, but chances are Coffin Comics is going to have it as a print and it is a Halloween cover. So I'm assuming October. Oh no, Juan. He's like, I'm back after wiping tears after getting scolded by Dawn. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was just, I was just trying to like show you that I care and it mattered and you weren't there. <laughs> oh, I deserve that. What are my thoughts on dark matter and chaos theory? I have no fucking clue, Wayne. <laughs> Uh, is Sherlock still trying for double meals? Oh man, probably. <laughs> He's always whining for food. You don't have to go back to the videos. That's right. I am. I feel so bad now. Juan, I heart you. And Katie, I hope you know I'm just giving Juan shit for funsies, <laughs> but I don't want to make you cry. <sighs> He's all skin and bones. He's so skinny and he needs so much food. 
poor Sherlock. It's all so very sad. What's the count now? Oh, I just hit 84. Fail. <laughs> oh my god, Brandy. That is the best. Cobra Striker is going to send a carrier pigeon to me, and, and Brandy's like, I think Sherlock will eat the carrier pigeon. <laughs> oh, I know, Wade. I did say to ask questions. That's a little bit above my IQ level. <laughs> Says the 28-pound cat. <laughs> Hello, John. Wayne, I thought you were watching a game. You did, TB. <laughs> I know, and he's on some new diet food that's lower calories, so it's really, it's, it's hitting Sherlock in the stomach, and he's seeming very hungry, and honestly, I'm not sure how much how much longer I can take my cat being on a diet? Like, you know, no human is on a diet their entire life, but it looks to me like Sherlock is going to be on a diet <clears throat> his whole life. And I feel so bad for him. Like, who wants to be on a diet forever? I feel so sad for Sherlock. And I... I just, I need to talk to the vet about this. I might need to put myself in therapy for putting Sherlock on a diet. See you later, Snow. Dawn, get to drawing. I know, I'm talking too much. Love you, Snow. Drive safe, please. Be careful. But you have glasses on, you could have attempted to answer it. I'm trying. Jason, hello and welcome. They have giant mice, will, mouse wheels for cats. Yeah, I highly doubt that Sherlock would try. <laughs> they have the expression fat cat. I am doing it out of love and I want him to like live long and prosper, but I'm really worried that it's just not gonna be fun. I mean, I don't wanna be on a diet forever. If I'm on a diet for five minutes, I want ice cream. Yeah. Just lurking in the background. To add to your cat problems, the whole food thing never ends with them. Sometimes you have to look at the whole quality of life situation. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's the thing, you know? It's miserable to live your entire life on a diet. Like, literally, I feel like Sherlock is on the verge of losing his mind because he's so hungry sometimes. You know, he finishes his food in like five minutes and that's all I'm allowed to give him according to the vet? No. I always scream for ice cream, Adobe. <laughs> literally always. God, this is so much detail. What was I thinking with this car? I would very much like to have words with my previous self. Uh. 
If his entire life is a diet, then he's used to not eating. Well, it's not that, I mean, it's just he's on diet food, but that can't taste good. Like, literally, it can't taste good. Yes, typical Dawn over noodling. I'm sorry. But um, I was it was requested that I work on a, a very specific cover and I recreate it. And unfortunately, that does mean um, an aggressive amount of detail that I just honestly would never do now. That's a good question, Terrence. Um, and I do have that. No, I suppose I can answer it. Um, Tons of artists that I uh, like and enjoy. There are many. Uh, the artists that influenced me the most are probably J. Scott Campbell and E. Bass. Give him a treat. Oh, I do. <laughs> Ice cream is mint chocolate chip. Damn, now I want it. <laughs> So the thing that's complicated about this particular part is getting it to look they getting it to look like it's it's raised almost like embossed on her um, leg armor plate situation. And so, you know, I need to get it on the proper curve, on the proper perspective and with the right amount of depth. Um, and so I know I worked on that very hard when I did this this cover last time so now I need to recreate it and I know the expectation is for it to be better this time uh, so that's scary oh that's a very interesting take Adobe artist I really love that that's so cool to kind of picture in your mind two artists that you admire and how their styles would mesh should they ever work together that's super cool Oh, rainstorm is hitting. Yay! You always seem to come in with reservations and always leave with something amazing. Thank you, Steve. That means so much. Yeah, I mean, sometimes Scott will color his own work, Adobe Artist. Um, 
when he's doing, um, like when he did the like six, six fan arts that were going around for a little while, he digitally colored that himself. It was very cool to see his, his own style of coloring on his, his own work. I really liked it. But yes, mostly he works with uh, Niai or Sabine or Ula or sometimes Peter Steigerwald. Okay, so this is the detail part. This is um, uh, some kind of design. I don't know where I uh, came up with this. And I have serious questions of my own sanity in trying to do this. But it is what it is, I suppose. So what I'm doing is I'm just sketching the whole thing in, in basic silhouette right now. Um, and then I will go back in and um, I'll just ink the outline of it. But the reason why I'm just sketching it in silhouette is, is honestly <laughs> just so that I can um, get all the basics of placement without having to like really work it and draw all these different lines and stuff. Oh, that's not bad. 63%. I would say it's much higher than that, Mr. E, but at least there's that. I didn't do the six fan arts, no. Yeah, right? Fix the kink in Moobot. Exposed right now or is it okay? I know I'm like way too overexposed. Are you guys able to see the art all right? It's okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank 
thank you Adobe, Shirley, thank you all, Kylie, hello. There is going to be a party sooner before Christmas even, you guys. Dan and I are discussing plans. Thank you, Sergio. All right, so I need to work on her. That is too high a head. I need to work on her um, hair now because I can't really ink anything else until her hair is figured out. That's an interesting one. I don't know, Mystery. Wait, 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 wait. I can't ink that until I figure out her hair. That's what I was trying to do. Lots and lots of love to you. Uh, Matt Bankster, I am not sure what paper I'm drawing on. This is a Lady Death um, sketch cover, so I, I don't know. And you know what? I had the hair blowing that way this time, but I think I'm... Well, like in the last time I drew this cover, but I don't think I want to do that this time. Aw, thank you, Kylie. I really wish I hadn't made it so very detailed in my original version.
here, Kylie. Uh, no, this was specifically asked for Jay Allen. I uh, don't actually do homage covers ever. It's uh, um, it's not something that I do. And this is kind of an exception since I'm sort of homaging something I did already. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of one of those random exceptions to the rule. <laughs> um and yeah, it was specifically requested. So I checked with Brian Polito to make sure that was okay. Like if I can uh, homage a lady death drawing I already did. And he said, sure. So, woot. Thank you so much, Adobe. <laughs> Hello, Painted Dreams. Yeah, blank covers can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Her hair is a little bit too big. Sorry. Whichever one is wearing the skimpiest outfit, I love that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be right back. For some reason, I've got a little bit of a stuffy nose. I'm not sick. I don't feel sick or anything like that, but I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Cat allergy. You know what? I've wondered that sometimes. Not an extreme one, but I, I'll sometimes get like watery eyes and um, 
knows when I'm around Sherlock a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I felt like her um, her head was a little too high. So I'm just moving that down a little bit. And the cape is kind of giving her like this really short neck look, which I don't want as well. So I'm just moving the cape down a little bit. <laughs> and I want to give her a little bit more hair. So I'm just putting a little more hair in there. Let's give her some nice big hips. All right, I'm almost done with all the like final fixies and working out some of these things. She's got an armor piece on her hand. I'm sorry, you guys. It's a, it's a little different to be working on uh, something I already did before. Um, but yes, we're gonna get this done. Lucifer season five next week. Yay. I really can't wait to see it. Is it next week in Canada, Adobe Artist? I feel like I remember you saying that you're here in Canada. Overthink anytime. We're here for you and all the shenanigans. You guys are the best. Thank you. I'm so sorry that I overthink things and over labor and then you know, make make stuff take too long. I, I feel really bad for that. I wish that I um, went quicker on a lot of these things, but I guess it is what it is. I'm just gonna put a little bit more black detailing on this to kind of thin out that piece as well and then this is kind of it is shortening her neck a little bit but um, I'm bringing the straight line a little bit down further and that'll help to, to show the length of her neck oh you're sure it airs the same time you're going to binge that show one of these days. It's on your list. Nice, Gabriel. Um, yeah, I'm watching uh, some of it with uh, my daughter, Vienna. She's, she's 15 before anyone freaks out <laughs> that I'm watching Lucifer with like an eight-year-old. Um, <laughs> lol, Adobe artist. <laughs> it's part of my charm. Thank you, Konami. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I know guys, I'm not, um, I'm really not the most confident artist, so I know that it's probably got to be a little bit annoying to see me erase and redo stuff so much. Um, I'm trying to get better at that and be more confident and just kind of like draw <laughs> and get shit done. Uh, I know, I know it's one of my artistic faults, weaknesses, issues. Oh, thank you, Mr. E. And this is the season where we find we need to see. Oh, I see. I thought you were saying that it um 
it actually is there. <laughs> that would be cool. It actually helps give some inspiration because it drives me crazy how much I have to do that. Aw, thank you, TV. <laughs> Top of your wish list, Chloe. <laughs> thank you, Gabriel. Thank you, Labris. Mostly comic book characters painted dreams because that's where I work. Um, So... I very rarely get commissioned to draw um, game art, and of course I've never worked for any game companies, but I do work for comic companies, so it's sort of my, my playground. For her hair, I'm going to use a lighter pen for now. Um, so for Lady Death's hair, a lot of times I will use the Copic Gray. I wish I had a slightly darker gray. This one is uh, just cool gray. Um, I, w I should probably get like a slightly darker gray, like a slate, get bleh, slate gray. Um, but this is fine for now. Are there any game series you're a fan of and maybe partake in? You know what? I am not a gamer. I don't have the time. And even when I did, it just was never, uh, it was never really something I got into. Facebook is being ignored? I haven't seen any Facebook comments in a long time, Jay Allen. Did you ask me a question? Cool gray is just in contrast to lame gray. <laughs> you sent me an email with the screenshot. Oh, oh boy. Let me see. <laughs> this is when the burn on dawn is complete. What? Where? I know you have my email, Juan. It hasn't come in yet. Oh, it's checking for mail. Hold, please. Sometimes doing, like for traditional art, doing um, actual Lady Death hair strands in front is something I avoid because avoiding the hair and leaving it white is a huge pain in the ass. Um, okay, Juan, it is complete. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Oh, I, all right, see, I didn't see that, Juan, and you have the best reason, and the, like, that is the best reason, and 
I am so sorry for giving you shit now. That is, I feel terrible. Thank you for sending me this, and I'm so sorry that I didn't see it. You're the best, Juan, and please give Katie my love. Ooh, we got some raiders. Mate, hello and welcome. Thank you all so much for joining in. I really appreciate it. I love the raids. Thank you all so, so, so much. My name is Dawn McTagg. I am a comic book artist, and right now I'm working on a Lady Death commission. So this is on a blank comic book. That means the cover was blank except for the title, and I'm drawing on it now. Mate, thank you. Thank you for the raid. It's going great. How are you doing? And see you later, Marcus. Thank you for joining in. <laughs> Did you finish? Oh, okay. You remember that one. Um, not yet. I uh, didn't end up getting any art time today. Um, but I will finish it soon. doing well. I was working on a really elaborate self-portrait. That's cool. Thank you, Painted Dreams. Uh, what inspires you to draw gorgeous women? Uh, because it's fun. <laughs> It's like the, the, the grown-up version of, you know, when I was an eight-year-old and used to draw princesses. <laughs> it's just hopefully now they're a little more badass. Yeah, that too. Grenado, hello. At the end of the day, a lot of people enjoy seeing or drawing women. Yeah.
Oh, Rake is your mentor. That is super cool. Nicely done, Painted Dreams. <laughs> yeah, I understand that it's a little bit more difficult when you're a guy. Like, you know, you can, you can, it's a little tougher when you get criticism for it. And I do too, you know, where it's like, well, you know, you should really be drawing women with more clothes on or whatever. And I'm just like, well, I'm a girl and I'm cool with it. So, you know, carry on. Um, I, I, I feel sorry for, for men who are also just drawing what they find beautiful, um, that they get, that there's less defense. You can't be like, well, I'm a chick and I'm okay with it. So, you know. <laughs> that's just your opinion, man. <laughs> and I know that that's a lot harder. So I, uh, I really respect men that, that, that draw beautiful women in whatever, whatever they find beautiful. And, um, what inspires me is that it's fun. And I'm sure for, for male artists that also inspires them because it is fun and you get to put like fun clothes and it's just, it's, it's different. You get to really add a lot of, um, you know, a superhero male character. It, the outfits are different. I personally have more fun drawing female outfits. So, you know, I bet you that made no sense. But anyway, respect to all the male artists for sure. I aspire to the day my art gets attacked on Twitter just like J. Scott every two weeks. That's when I know I made it. <laughs> exactly, Adobe artist. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's it, it's ridiculous the amount of of nonsense that gets thrown at Campbell. He is an incredible artist, extremely respectful, and it's, you know, I I frankly can't can't stand it when he gets picked on. It makes me very upset. <laughs> he is incredible, and no one should be bashing him. <laughs> Okay, you guys, it made sense. Yay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that too, Konami. <laughs> But that's always been the point of superhero comic art. Right, exactly. It's, 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 it is exaggerated. That is comic art. So like, you know, to, to pick on an exaggerated form is to pick on the style and should not be directed at the artist, but pretty much I dislike comic art. And if you dislike comic art, then don't look. <laughs> Just carry on. There are many other art styles. <laughs> Unless you're Namor. <laughs> uh, 
I think that's the main thing is anybody who really like gets at an artist for something and is like, well, you're drawing an exaggerated female form. And it's like, well, I'm a comic artist. And probably the person that's critiquing that or, you know, complaining about it doesn't understand the concept of comic art. And it's like, then carry along. Well, I'm just saying if they, they don't understand the concept that comic art is exaggerated, it's basically mixing like slightly realistic with anime and manga, and that's sort of what it is. Yeah, exactly. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. You have to have this. Oh, thank you. It's a commission for someone, but in all in all Lady Death drawings that I do, I that are commissions, I always send a scan to Brian Polito. So if he decides to use it, that is up to him. Um, and that's probably the only way that it'll be able to be up for grabs for everyone. <laughs> Exactly, Matei. This stream has the most Dawn rants. Oh no. <laughs> I'm always a little worried after these streams, like, oh shit, what did I say? Because I'm, you know, not 100% paying attention to the words that are coming out of my mouth. Yeah, exactly, Konami. <laughs> it is just ridiculous. Okay, teeny weeny complicated details. There should be a counter for Don Rance. Oh, like a number counter. I see what you mean, TV Hub. <laughs> yeah. Stella, hello. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, Danny. Well, at least you guys all get it, you know, and it's, it's, it's art and it is stylized. And I draw this way cause I like it. You need more lectures. Oh, I hate being lectured. I'm not, I'm not trying to, to lecture you guys ever. I am definitely not trying to ever be lectured.
that to Adobe Artist. Do you think you'll get any Wonder Woman in your store? We love Wonder Woman. I do have sometimes I will. Um, usually I will. Um, I'll probably do a, you know, time limited uh, print of the Wonder Woman that I'm working on right now, but uh, I do one a month. So, you know, I've got I've got a little while yet before I need to use that one, but I will. <laughs> Mr. E, you're the best. Don't feel bad, Painted Dreams. It's a good question, and I do get asked that a lot, seeing as I am a woman in comics, and so... um. It's, it's a very common question for uh, me, and it does come up on my channel frequently, and so I am very okay to talk about it. Of course, I have very strong opinions on this, um, but, you know, you can always take me with a grain of salt. And I hope I didn't offend anybody. Tonight is uh, pork and pita. Well, hello there, mister. Yeah. Did you have a nice long nap? He's been sleeping for like six hours. Mark, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. I don't know if you guys can see him. Should we have a Sherlock sighting? Are you going to come and say hello? Here we go. There is Sherlock. Say hello, everybody. His ears are back. When his ears are back, he's not a happy kitty. <laughs> Oh, and now my, my nose is going to get all itchy again. Um, okay, pork and pita, pita bread. <laughs> yes. Whenever you visit Chicago, have you ever been around to see it? You know what? I have not painted dreams. I... It's, it's unfortunate, but you know what? Once our kids are grown and Dan can come with me to conventions, then I'll do more touring about and, you know, actually get to see the cities that I visit. Um, because when I'm, when I'm at conventions these days, I'm really like, I get there to the show and, and then honestly, I, I get home as quickly as possible. Um, but once... Once the kids are grown and Dan can travel with me, hopefully conventions will still be going, then I'll do a little more touring about. I figured as much, Painted Dreams. He's like, let me go, I know. He doesn't like the lights. Thank you, Lex the Tyrannosaur. Tyrannosaur? Tyrannosaur? How do you say that word? Anyway. He's a very cute kitty cat, very stinky. Anyway, he's on the ground looking away from us, but right there. <laughs> oh, yes, it's true. So I went on three rants this time. I really don't want to be known as a ranter, though. Like, I hope you guys realize that my rants are said with fun and, and an under, underlying sense of laughing and joking. I really don't want to be like, you know, angry ranty girl. And I feel so shit for ranting at you, Juan. That's terrible. You have such a good reason. And you even sent me a message. It's not that I didn't think you had a good reason. I was just worried. 
<laughs> the counter will keep track. <laughs> to make it up though, Juan, I actually have a little something in that I'm kicking around in my brain um, that will make you very happy, I think. So to make up for my giving you shit today. And it seems like I've been doing that for 93 weeks every so often. <laughs> Be an angry hockey fan instead. <laughs> no! Six minutes. Oh my goodness. Thank you for letting me know, Philip. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and I call myself Canadian. <laughs> yes. But this time from joy. Yay. I really don't want to make you sad, Juan. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Kimin. Five minutes. Thank you, Ralphie. I need to load Twitch, so it might glitch the, the screen for a second, everyone. And I'm just loading Twitch to see who we can raid. checking who all is live right now and who we should raid. <laughs> Keeman is live. Jubilina. Have we raided Jubilina lately? Oh my god, Zoomy Draws is live. I want to check Zoomy Draws. I've been um, following her on, uh, on Instagram for so long. Oh yes, okay, we're going to raid Zoomy Draws. I want to stream just so John can raid me. I would love to raid you, Juan. No, was that Juan or Mark? That was Mark who said that. I'm sorry. I'm not reading everything super cautiously now. Okay, thank you all. Oh, thank you, Scott. That's good. That's good to know. I haven't inked it yet, and that is an extremely good point. You are so right. Thank you for that. I will fix it. Very good point. <laughs> all right. I love you all so much. I am going to, for any of you on Twitch, please come join me in raiding um, Zoomy Draws. So I really, really appreciate you guys being here. Raid 
Zoomy Draws. So come join me in rating Zoomy Draws. Can Rugger, thank you so much for joining in. And hello, I'm sorry that I'm leaving right away. Uh, it's dinner time for me, and we're going to go raid Zoomy Draws. Thank you all so much for joining. I will see you on Sunday afternoon to work on the colors of this one. So I will finish inking it off stream. Big hugs and love to everybody. Let's go raid. Bye.